Oh, hey guys. Uh, I occasionally get questions about these things back here. What are they? What are they for? Uh, basically, the idea is that the part of the string that's behind the bridge sometimes will begin to sympathetically ring. And if it's um, in tune with the normal notes on the guitar, sometimes they can jingle jangle back there and create a little... Uh, it's not really picked up by the uh, pickup, I don't think. But anyway, I just don't prefer hearing it. <clears throat> so I get these little rubber things from the hardware store. I'm going to hold them up. They're they're round, and then they have a little slot in the sides. They're like little donuts, but there's also a a little um, area. Like you can see, I'm sticking my thumb in there. Anyway, that is very convenient because it just you just slip it over the string. Let me just show you. So without that little rubber grommet in there, I don't know what the O-ring or something. And it's kind of almost in tune with, with um, the, the B note. And that's almost a G. So it, it, you can see it would get a little bit, maybe rub it. Then if I put it in there, and shove it down so that it's down here. It doesn't have to be up high. Then you can see it's all it's all dead back there. Some guitars I don't do that, and other guitars, especially these uh, the the other 350 that I have, the the laminate top ones seem to have more of a of a, an effect. I don't know why exactly, but that's what it is. I just went to the hardware store and I bought three or four different kinds and sizes until I found out what works. And they cost about six cents each. So um, it's nothing special. I didn't get it from some specialty store or anything, just Ace Hardware right down the street. Okay, I hope that answers that question. This is a beautiful guitar, isn't it? 1949 ES350P with just the single. P90. All right, guys.